hello and welcome back so now in this video we will create our objective menu so right here in the canvas you can actually duplicate the pause menu let's enable the duplicate pause menu as you can see and let's name this as objectives and let's go inside the objectives now let's move this text outside and let's now simply delete all of the buttons click on this text rename this to objectives or just objectives objective heading in here change the text to objectives make the font size 30 and leave this in the center okay let's click on that middle center or oh, actually we can leave this in the center okay and now uh, let me go inside the scene view let's go in 2 mode let's focus upon this objective and let's click on it Let's make it a little bit bigger like that. Okay. And move it right there. Okay, we can move this to that point. Okay, we can choose objectives like that. Then in here, duplicate the objective heading and let's change this to now objective one. Make the font size 20 and move this down below right there okay so our first objective will be find key to open the gate let's resize this like this okay so this will be our first objective Now let me move this right here. Okay, find key to open the gate. This will be the first objective. Now let's duplicate this, move it down below, and change the text to to dot shut down the computer system. This will be our second objective. Okay, and make sure that you change the name as well right here to objective 2 now let's duplicate this two times let's select that one the third objective move it down below change this to objective 3 and change the text to shut down both of the generators okay and after this let's select that one move it down below at this point, change this to objective 4 and in here we will change the text to escape from the facility. So these four will be our objectives. Okay, move them, move it down below, let's move. Let's leave that there. it looks good like that so now its default color will be white like this ok now click on this canvas we need to open this menu script and in the menu script now we need a reference to our objective menu as well so we will say game object let's name this Objective menu UI and then right here after this update we will create a function which will be public void. Let's name this as show objectives and inside this function 
we will call this function actually when we want to show the objective menu so for that we will say objective menu ui dot set active and let's set this to true after this we will say time dot time scale let's set this to 0 f and let's set the game stop to true because when we appear the objective menu then we want the game stop to be true okay and after this let's create a function for removing the objective menu so we will say remove objectives inside this function let's actually copy all of that paste it on the row set this to false and when we remove the objective menu we want the time to be normal then and also we want to lock the cursor so lock the cursor and set the points to do false that's it now right here after this if we will say else if now if someone press the M button then what we want to do we want to show the objective menu so first of all we will say if we will check if the game is paused and by default as you know that the game is paused is set to false okay so if the game is paused is game stop is false then we want to call the function which is remove objective and we simply want to log the cursor but if that is not the case then it means that the objective menu is on so call the show objectives function and then we will unlock the cursor so set this to none now let's click on this canvas let's assign our objective menu here now let's play the game and then as you can see when we press escape it shows the pause menu Okay, now when we press the M key, as you can see, it shows the objective menu. So it works now. And now in the next video, we will type a code for completing our objective. So if we complete our first object, we will change the color to green and like that. We will do the same for the other three as well. Okay, so Let's end this video right here and see you guys in the next one.